What's up guys, Cameron, Tech Support Supervisor with Fuel Tech USA here with Phil Hines and his badass Pro Charge Mustang. Uh, came to the dyno today, made some good numbers, just switched over to the new EFI system. So why don't you tell us kind of what you experienced today and, and how everything went. Actually it was a good experience. I've never had the car ever on a dyno, so even an engine dyno or chassis dyno or whatever you want to call that thing, but pretty badass and your guys' system is it's definitely unique and definitely state of the art and I would recommend it to anybody. And the biggest thing is I like, I love your guys' technical support and anytime I call, you guys usually answer the phone. If I have any questions, that is huge, especially to a racer. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that, that's, that's the biggest thing I've noticed about changing. And any other system, I don't know how their you know, technical support is, but I just know you guys, I've always heard, and I'm here to tell you right now, it's far, far than that. I, you know, I've dealt with a few of them, and it's never, you guys are top notch for sure. That's uh, that's one thing that we pride ourselves on is being able to take care of people, make sure that they have a good time, and, and that they're able to use and manipulate the system so that way they can get the best out of their race car. Um, one of the unique things about this being a procharged application is you don't have a boost controller or any other type of uh, way to manage power besides manipulating uh, ignition timing. So uh, being able to use a lot of the the rev plots and drive shaft curves and all the things that we use to manipulate power especially for like a radial car where you're uh, tire limited and uh, you know you have a specific set of rules that you can run within a certain class like you have to weigh a certain amount you have to use a certain tire uh, and, a, and a bunch of other rules uh, having those tools available to you is really what allows you to get the car to go down the track as yeah. quickly as possible um, it's becoming one of the more popular combinations because it is the easiest one to manage just because it's simple it's runs exactly what you tell it to run every single time the thing is bolted to the crankshaft you don't have a choice it makes what it makes and then you just make the car work around it so having all those tools once again being able to manipulate ignition timing do any other type of power management even like wheelie control and a bunch of other things uh, is definitely definitely something that's gonna be a lifesaver for you getting this thing to go down the track yes. and make sure that you're safe good numbers on the dyno today we made almost 2,000 horsepower with some room to go and uh, that's definitely enough to make you competitive in the x275 class yeah. so hopefully you have a really good time out at the race I'll see you guys around at the racetrack I'm sure you're going to ducks race yes uh, what are some of the other races that you're going to here soon well I, obviously I run NMRA and NMCA for points okay but obviously I missed a whole year but I'm gonna be hitting the NMRA finals uh, at the beginning of the month next month I think the first to the third and then obviously the duck race and not for sure from there where just depends on actually how i can you know get to know this car because it's obviously not only your guys has changed for the fuel management it's obviously the whole car has been changed yeah so and it's going to be a totally different learning curve for me but if anybody knows who i am and what i do i i will figure it out oh yeah it might just take me a little bit longer than your average joe blow but <laughs> i will get it i promise I just think I'm just too stupid to stop. <laughs> <laughs> we have all of us that play with cars. We like paint. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. For sure. Well, uh, we'll see you guys next time. We'll see you around at the racetrack. Absolutely. And uh, make sure that you guys like and sub subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on all of our social media platforms, and we'll see you guys next time.